friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is going to be my October favorites. Hopefully this will be going up on time or semi on time. I mean today's the 6th so it's already kind of late but it won't be as late as last month, I promise. I'm really excited for this video of course because you guys know how I feel about favorites videos. They're my favorite. I love filming them, I love sitting down with you guys and just telling you all my favorite things for the month and this month I feel like I don't have a lot of stuff like I say every single month but this month I really don't I have a couple of beauty favorites but I have more kind of random favorites that I want to talk about because it's just been a random kind of month. I'm gonna stop rambling. If you guys want to know what I've been loving for the month of October, then please just keep on watching. So the first thing that I want to talk about is actually a foundation brush, which is so weird for me because if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I never use foundation brushes. I don't like them. I've just never found one that has left my face as flawless as a beauty blender has. That's always been my number one. So when I found this foundation brush, which you guys were actually there with me when I discovered it, I'll link that video down below. Um, I was really happy. So this is the Summerfit, Summerfit. I still don't know how to say it. If you guys saw my first impressions, you know I struggled, and I'm still struggling because I still don't know how to say it. But it's that brand. It's gonna be here because I butcher everything. But it's that brand, and it's the number two brush that comes in their ten piece set. I did do a first impressions on the entire ten piece set. It will be linked down below as well as the link to purchase. I don't get any type of commission, it's not like an affiliate link at all, it's just a link to Amazon, that's it. But this is the brush, and it comes with a bigger brush in the set, but I didn't like that brush at all, I just felt like it was too wobbly for me, but this brush applies foundation so well. It's so weird to apply foundation with something like this, I'm still kind of getting used to it, but it is such a flawless tool for foundation that like I can't deny it. So that is my first favorite and it's super duper affordable. My next favorite is this concealer that I have just recently discovered. I'm like really late because everybody on YouTube has already like sold out this concealer like several times and I'm just a little bit late to the party. But this is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Mine is in the color Tan Sand which I think is pretty much the perfect color for me. I could probably go even a shade darker than this but I'm pretty okay with this it does give me a pretty nice highlight I love this concealer I don't agree with everyone who says that it doesn't settle into your fine lines or doesn't crease it does crease on me it does kind of take a little while for it to crease but it definitely does crease on me but the reason that I like this concealer is first of all this Dofa applicator I don't know if you understand like how enormous it is on camera I feel like it looks smaller than it really is I was not ready for such a fat doe foot applicator it's it's large besides that I feel like the coverage on this concealer is amazing and it has really good lasting power of course I set my concealer all the time just like everybody else does but I just feel like this is just it just stays it stays really well and everything wears on top of it very nicely and I just I do really like this concealer I definitely see what all the hype is about I feel like it's kind of like an enhanced version of the Urban Decay Naked Skin and it doesn't set too quickly, which if you guys know me, you know that's like, I hate that. But I would say if I had to say one thing that I do not like about it is that it's always out of stock. This was actually the only shade that was in stock on the Tarte website, so I snagged it up because I figure it can't be too off. And I mean, I just so happened to get really lucky that it was pretty good. So I mean, if they could just keep it in stock, that'd be great. But other than that, this concealer, I think you guys, once it, you know, comes in stock, I think you guys definitely need to try it out. So the next thing I want to talk about is actually my favorite thing in this entire favorites video. Probably my favorite discovery in 2016 thus far. It's, it's really that serious. So this is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost in the color King Tut. And this is what it looks like on the inside. It's so beautiful. I'm not wearing it on my face today. I've been wearing it non-stop But today I'm wearing the color peach goddess just because I'm a little bit more cool tone So I didn't want to like throw it off with a bronze kind of highlighter. Do you know what I'm saying? So I went with peach goddess and said but this highlighter is everything first of all This pan is gigantical. It is so large like it's my face now. Okay, that's not my face is large, but it's like it could be someone's face. You get so much product and I just think that this like little logo imprint situation that's happening is so pretty and I feel like it's a little bit harder than I thought it was to mess up. I feel like when he swatches it he like must dig his finger in there because when he swatches it it like comes off but mine hasn't come off and I've been using it literally non-stop. Literally non-stop. Literally. So I'm gonna swatch it for you guys really quickly 
just one swipe so nice I love it so I love it so much this has replaced, 100% replaced, my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Sweets. You guys know that was my favorite. The color Butterscotch in there is very similar to this, I would say. But this is more intense and it's a gigantic pan. I mean, I just, I don't even know, I don't have the words to put into a sentence to tell you how much I love this. Originally when I got it, I thought this color was going to be a little bit dark and not really flatter that many skin tones because it is like a little bit more on the bronze side. But honestly, once you swatch it, you can't even tell that it's a little bit deeper and I feel like people, more people can use this than you might think, if that makes sense. It doesn't swatch as dark as it looks in the pan. On me, I thought it was going to work regardless because, I mean, I'm a little bit darker, but I think people who have a little bit lighter skin tone than me can still use this and be really happy. I think if you like intense highlighters like I do, like look at that. Do you like that? Because then you'll like this. So moving on to eyeshadow favorites. I have two palettes that I want to talk about. One that I've been using pretty much all month long and another one which is kind of a more recent purchase. Um, the first one actually is pretty surprising. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Master Palette by Mario. I did not expect to love this palette the way that I do. I saw the colors in here, which this is what it looks like, and I just wasn't interested. I didn't think this was gonna be anything special. I didn't think I needed it. I actually almost didn't pick it up, but I am so glad that I did end up picking it up because the eyeshadow formula in this palette, it's like unlike anything I've ever seen before. It reminds me so much of Viseart eyeshadows, which are like ridiculously expensive compared to these. They're just so creamy and buttery and they blend so nicely and they're pigmented. I, I just, I think this is probably way better than any of her other palettes, any of the other eyeshadow formulas she's ever come out with. I think this is like next level. I will still say, I'm sticking to my guns when I say like this doesn't inspire me whatsoever, but if I wanted to do a super quick, just like easy, natural kind of a look, I know I can pull this out and come up with something really nice. So for that, it's definitely, definitely useful, which I'm sure is what he was going for because he tends to do more neutral looks as opposed to like crazy over the top things like I do. Either way, I do really like this palette. I think if you're on the market for a new kind of neutral palette, but also not totally neutral because you do have some fun pops of color. You have this color Bronx, which is like an olive green, which for the fall is so trendy. So I love that he put that in there. And this color Claudia, which is like almost like a navy blue. Such a beautiful color. So I'm really glad that there's pops of color in here, but it's still really neutral. So if you're looking for something like that, this is the one for you. The other eyeshadow palette that I have to talk about, I feel like I'm kind of cheating because... I mean, I recently got it maybe about a week, week and a half ago, but I feel like I've used it a good amount of times, a good amount of times since then. Where's my English? Where did I leave that? This is the Tardis Pro eyeshadow palette. I know you guys saw all the beauty gurus who went to, where they go, Bora Bora, and they all got this eyeshadow palette, and they got the highlight palette, and you guys were all jealous, just like I was. I was at home, like... So once I saw it on their Snapchats, I immediately knew, I was like, I'm picking that up, that is going to be mine, because it just looks like the ultimate eyeshadow palette to me. So this is what it looks like on the inside. There are so many colors. There are 16, 20 colors, and you get this beautiful mirror. I know it's weird to call a mirror. Hey, what's up? I know it's weird to call a mirror beautiful, but honestly, I've been using this to do my makeup ever since I got it. Just this mirror. I'll pull this palette out just to use this mirror because I feel like it's so like HD I don't know if that makes sense but this mirror is good but anyways you're probably not gonna buy it for the mirror so these are the eyeshadow colors it's a neutral palette again these are all matte eyeshadows so 16 of the eyeshadows are matte and then you have these four kind of like duochrome eyeshadows which I'll be honest I have not tried those yet I've used pretty much every single color on the matte eyeshadow category and I have to say they are really good the only complaint that I have with this palette is that there is kind of a lot of fallout. You just kind of have to figure out what it is that you like in an eyeshadow formula or what would bother you in an eyeshadow formula. I don't really get bothered too much by fallout, but this really has a lot of fallout. So if you don't like fallout or if it bothers you, just don't. Just don't even look this way. But I also really think they did a good job with the selection of eyeshadows. I am wearing this palette on my eyes today. I use pretty much all the cool tone colors. <laughs> Shockingly, I don't know what I was on today that wanted to use cool tone colors in my eyes, but I did. I got some RCMA No Color Powder, by the way, on it. I don't know if you can see that, but if you see something that looks like something bad, 
that's what it is I promise <laughs> I think you have everything you could ever look for you could take this with you to travel I probably would take only this palette if I was gonna travel you know I'm not going anywhere but if I was going to I would probably only take this and be really happy because you can do so many different things with it so I have been loving this as of recently I literally have anger issues I just threw this across the floor oh my god you'll probably see it in the bloopers it's it's honestly kind of funny. <laughs> so I only have two more products to talk about and they're both lip products and they're both by Kylie Cosmetics. And honestly, you guys already know, I'm not even going to do a disclaimer anymore. You guys already know how I feel about the lip kits. I love them. I buy pretty much every single color. I have pretty much every single color because they're just one of my favorite formulas and I just love the fact that they come with a matching lip pencil like you can't beat it also they have so many colors now I can't believe how many they've come out with in such a short period of time I mean I'm happy about it because like I said the formula is everything so I'm gonna tell you about the one that I'm wearing first this is the color brown sugar that's on my lips right now and this is what it looks like in the packaging I always keep the packaging I just think this is so cute and I just have them like lined up on my vanity I, I just you Obviously, I really like the packaging. <laughs> this is the color brown sugar, like I said, and this was kind of marketed as the perfect nude color for deep skin tones. I wouldn't say I have a deep skin tone. I would say maybe I have like a tan skin tone. Definitely not deep by any means. There's like several shades after me, so it still does pull really brown on me, which is like exactly what I would want because, I mean, this color is everything. This is such a beautiful color, and I did see it on the deeper model that she had posted on her Instagram, and it was, it was like, it was beautiful. And I'm so glad that she actually came out with something that would work for deeper skin tones because a lot of times, like, even I get nudes and I'm like, it's so beautiful and I've seen it on lighter skin tones, I've seen it on medium skin tones, tan skin tones, deep skin tones. It looks different on everybody, of course, but it looks really, really beautiful on every single skin tone. So I, I feel like I said skin tone like 37 times in that one sentence. I'm really happy that I picked that one up and I, I just, I love that color. And then the second one is the color Love Bite, which was really hard to get my hands on because so many YouTube gurus have been talking about this color, and for good reason, because it is so beautiful. When I picked this one up, I could not wait to wear it. I did use this in my uh, Master Palette by Mario tutorial, which I'll link down below as well. This is the color right here. You can see it's definitely like a berry color. It's definitely perfect for fall, but it just has like gray hints to it i'm so happy that i have that one too because i feel like i could wear that all day every day because because i like it so that's actually it for the makeup favorites i do have some random favorites i'm gonna leave my tv show favorite for the end but um let me talk about this lotion really quickly this is by bath and body works the aromatherapy line and it's like the stress relief and it's the eucalyptus tea body cream this is what it looks like right here I actually don't really buy Bath and Body Works lotions I never really have I buy their candles like crazy that's one burning in the background I love their candles but I've just never been into like lotions or anything like that but I bought this one because um, my manager at my job she sits right next to me and I always smell her applying this lotion and it smells amazing so I always just like when she applies it I'm like oh can I can I have some of that? Recently, when I picked up a whole bunch of candles, I just had to add it to my cart and keep it because it is so good. It is so good. It smells kind of like cologne, but it has... Let me smell it. Girl, let me just apply it right now. Even though I have like 10 swatches on my hands, I'm just going to apply it right over it because why not, right? It's, it has like a hint of floral scent to it. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know what eucalyptus tea is supposed to smell like. I don't even know what eucalyptus is, but all I know is this smells like girly cologne, if that makes sense. Not like perfume, like girly cologne. And Elver actually hates the way that this smells, which is so horrible that I love something so much that he like doesn't like but you know I still wear it anyways like I don't smell good for you I smell good for me so the next random favorite that I want to talk about is actually a bag and I feel like I almost never talk about bags on my channel I did a what's in my bag once and I'll link that down below that was with my Louis Vuitton Neverfull which is still like one of my favorite bags but other than that I've never really talked about bags on my channel I love them but I'm not like so smart in the handbag shopping world I just see something I like buy it that's it so the bag that I want to talk about is the Yves Saint Laurent or YSL wallet on a chain I have the medium size with the silver hardware fun fact about me I don't wear gold as I'm wearing a gold necklace <laughs> this necklace actually does have a lot of silver in it the K is silver and then there's like a silver underlining so it's okay my dad gave this to me like 
it, that's how it is, whatever. But usually I don't wear gold. That's probably the only gold thing that I own. I really only wear silver and that's just because I like silver better. And so if a bag has the option to have silver hardware, I will always pick the silver hardware. Of course, Louis Vuitton bags don't have that option, so I just get the gold hardware, like whatever. If you, I mean, if you get like the monogram or the Damier Ben or whatever, it doesn't come with silver hardware, so I just, it's okay. Because the hardware on those bags is like really minimal anyway, so... Anyway, I'm going off tangent. This is the bag I want to talk about, and the reason that I want to mention this is because I've been wearing it nonstop. This is actually my birthday gift, or was my birthday gift from Elver, and since he got it for me, I have not put it down. Have not. I think about changing my bag, and I'm just like, I, do I really want to do that? Not really. It's honestly so surprising to me because this is such a small bag. For me, at least, it's pretty small. And if you watch my uh, What's in My Bag video, I said in there that I like to throw so much stuff in my bag that I wouldn't be able to carry a small bag and I mean I was wrong because I've been carrying this with no problem absolutely no problem I haven't missed anything I, I haven't been like throwing extra stuff in here I honestly think it's better to carry a small bag that way I don't stuff it with crap you know so if you open it up it is kind of tight in here you really only have like your two pockets here and then the one in the center which I don't actually keep anything inside I keep all the stuff that I would keep in my wallet on this side and there's a lot of little slots for like credit cards and stuff I really only use like eight of them seven of them <laughs> I only use a few on this side and then I don't use any on the other side and here I get to keep everything that I need I have my car keys my chapstick my gum my headphones I'm like what else do I need the only complaint that I have is that I cannot keep a pair of sunglasses in here that's the only issue that I have with this but honestly I just kind of put it in my shirt don't ever put your sunglasses up here you're not supposed to I never do that I always put it in my shirt or in my bag or something like that but besides that, besides that one little complaint, I have been loving this. It's just so lightweight, so easy, goes with everything, and I feel like it makes any outfit look like more classy. And I also feel like the leather on this is super sturdy, like, like super sturdy. Like I feel like it'd be really hard to mess this up. Do you know what I'm saying? So the last thing that I'm going to talk about is a TV show that I am very surprised that I actually enjoy. And it is American Horror Story. Now, if you guys have been watching me, you know that I actually love American Horror Story. Seasons 1 through 4 were everything to me. And I was watching season 5. I'm talking about season 5 right now. I'm not talking about season 6, by the way. I was watching it while it was playing. Like, while they were giving it on TV. Wednesday at 10 o'clock. Every Wednesday. I was watching it and I just was not interested in it at all. I probably got up to episode 7 or 8 or something like that. And I just stopped watching after that because I just really wasn't into it. And I feel like after that many episodes I should already be hooked and I wasn't. So I stopped watching it and it just recently came out on Netflix. So I saw the entire season and I loved it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what, what the disconnect was there. I don't know what it was. But I, I loved it. I thought there were so many storylines going on, but like I got to keep up with all of them, if that makes sense. And there was this one scene, probably the best scene in any show that I've ever seen, ever. If you guys are planning on watching Hotel, please stop watching this video right now. But when Liz Taylor and Iris opened up the doors of the Countess's penthouse and just started shooting and you heard Hotline Bling playing in the background, I thought that was the funniest. I don't, it's not funny because I mean they're shooting people but <laughs> I I was dead. I was under the dryer. I distinctly remember I was under the dryer in the hair salon with my phone here and I was just looking and I just started busting out laughing and they were all just looking at me like what the f <laughs> and I just I, I couldn't I could not I could not control myself. It was hilarious. But anyways I really loved that season and right now Roanoke is kind of rubbing me the wrong way just like Hotel did. I hate scary things, which is weird that I would like American Horror Story and hate scary things. But I've never really thought that American Horror Story was scary. But I think this season is scary. Besides the fact that it's scary, I don't like the way that it's set up, kind of like a documentary. I don't care for it. I'm just not about it. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but like, let me know, actually. Let me know. If you watch American Horror Story and you usually really like it, I need you to tell me if you like this season. I'm really not into it. Season 4 will always be my favorite freak show was 
everything but that's just me so five hours later that is it for my favorites video thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did like it definitely don't forget to leave your favorites down below definitely subscribe if you guys are not already and follow me on instagram and snapchat definitely check in the description box there's going to be links to some of my previous videos everything that i mentioned um everything that i'm wearing today everything like that is going to be in the description box so definitely check there. I usually, actually, let me mention this really quickly. I usually put my nail polish in the description box, but I've been going to the nail salon for like the past, I don't know, month and a half. So if you check there and there's no nail polish name, just know I didn't forget it's because I've been going to the nail salon. But I mean, this is just black and white. There's nothing, nothing cool about this. But in the future, if that happens, just know that. But yeah, that's all I have to say. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. What? Blabbling. 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 Nailed it. What? Uh, what the f What? Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is going to be a tutorial on this super cranberry, smoky, fall, warm look that I'm wearing right now um, for the 